are going to have a rendition. And what are we going to hear, Peter? We are going to hear... Ding Dong Merrily on High. Ah, one of my favourites. Marvellous. Take it away, <coughs> sit back and revel in the sound of the choir. Ding Dong Merrily on High In heaven the bells are ringing Ding Dong Merrily the skies Ring with angels singing So wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. A favourite of mine, and we've been talking about Christmas carols. Is, is that a favourite of anyone who's been singing today? Anyone like? Is that your favourite? Anyone's favourite? Coming back into the microphone, coming back to the microphone and tell us a little bit more because it's a wonderful rendition. That's a, a terrific one. Who likes that as a favourite? Because I love singing that one. I must admit. Do you like Definitely. That? <laughs> Definitely. And what do you like about it? I always like the the Gloria bit. Is my yeah, favourite bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what what is it sort of? I always like doing the bass line, sort of going along to that when you're going as well. We were car carol singing the other week, and it's sort of nice bringing that. You like that one, Chris? I love it actually. And I was at a little service the other day um, in Laxey, and uh, the kids got up to sing that. And they were like, I really wanted to do the desk camp box. I remember <laughs> it from being a kid, and I was sort of jumping in doing the desk camp. It was oh, very embarrassing. We've Terrible. Got a you just can't help it. Jazzed up version we're doing in the carol service. Well. Ooh. It's yeah. a little bit higher, and with organ and with the full choir behind. Uh, so the, uh, the children particularly love that, but that's definitely worth hearing. The other thing to just uh, push about the carol service is it starts, as does carol services the world over, with one little solo voice singing Once in Royal. Oh, and we're not going to tell you who it is. Uh, we're going to ask you to come and find out. Oh, that is lovely. So oh. how many will be singing on Sunday? Uh, we'll be a choir of 35, uh, which includes children and adults. So it'll be a fairly full big choir, uh, the usual choir. But... I mean, we sing, yes, it's a carol service and it's important, but actually we sing every Sunday at the cathedral. Every Sunday is important to us. And uh, do come and hear us. And if people want to go along this coming Sunday, can they just turn up? or what is Just there? turn up. The door's open at 2.30 and it is get there early to get your seat because it is a capacity job. Uh, I was going to say it's one of those ones which does sell out and it just makes a wonderful sound when you hear it actually in somewhere like the Peel Cathedral as well. It just makes so much difference. Hello, Karen says, brilliant to the singing there. Really enjoyed that, I think, going on. Uh, uh, we've been having uh, also talking about Christmas carols and we have another called Simon and Garfunkel's version of Silent Nights. Very poignant, says David in Oh, Port it's beautiful, Air. actually. And Silent Nights, another one, isn't it? That just with the choir is just so gorgeous. I bet you enjoy singing that one as well. Yeah. Um, are you ever looking for any more choristers then? Or? Absolutely, always, because obviously there are two girls and two boys here, but what happens to the boys is biology, so their voice changes. In fact, Dominic is just on the change, and this will probably be his final Christmas as a oh. treble. So he'll be down to the tennis. So certainly from the age of seven, boys and girls, and we rehearse on a Thursday after school, and we sing for half an hour on a Sunday. But you can find all the details on the Cathedral website, or just search for me, and it'll all come up. I think it's going to be the perfect way to start Christmas. Sunday, 3pm in St German's Cathedral, you'll be able to see these as well as another 31 choristers <laughs> led by Peter. It'll be a beautiful event, I'm sure. It